Hey everyone, it's Keith here from Essex Recording Studios, and today we're doing a quick video on how to spot a real ESP Eclipse versus a fake. How do you know you've got a real one? The fakes are so good coming out of China now. You can go on Alibaba and you can get something that looks damn good for like $200 shipped to your door. It's totally crazy. And I mean, certainly looking at them from five feet away, a lot of the times you cannot tell the difference. So I've got a real one here and I do not have a fake one to compare it to, but I've seen enough fake ones to tell you what to look out for. So for starters, the finish. You got a quilted maple top here. Believe it or not, I mean, you can see it on all of the genuine import guitars from China and Korea these days. They're making them with these tops. But a lot of times it's pretty much like a, a, a photo. It's like, it's like a picture veneer that they slap on top of a piece of cheap wood. And when you're dealing with a real good genuine piece of quilted maple or flame maple, it has almost like a 3D holographic effect as you move that's why I'm moving the camera around trying to capture it it's pretty hard to pick up in a camera but to the naked eye there's just no mistaking it all right so that's one thing second thing that's usually missed on uh, on fakes is binding what you'll get is you'll you won't get these nice smooth edges here you'll get a lot of waviness to them um the fretwork, for instance. Uh, inlays are actually really good on the fake guitars in general. But uh, things like the bridge, you know, that's a genuine Tone Pros bridge. There's no faking that. You can see the detail there. And on fakes, there's way less detail. There's a lot of like casting flash. Um, the finish isn't as nice as that. Hardware, in general, I mean, knobs, knobs and, and switches are pretty cheap and easy to fake so that's not a good indicator although these i mean are total quality um flipping it over though this is really where where you can tell if it's real or not so this as you can see is in the grain is one piece of wood and in the back here on fakes really rare to see that you'll usually get two three maybe five pieces of wood put together we just had a Les Paul Melody Maker Gibson, and it, you know, you look at the back, and it's two pieces of wood, because it's cheaper. Uh, you know, the, the bigger a piece of wood is, the more expensive it is. Uh, on the neck, too, you can see it's all one piece there. And then the sides, so see this? See on the left there? Right here, there, and there? That's a good indication of a real neck. Um, tuners, depending on the tuners, like Grover's, real easy to fake and hard to detect. The fakes look good. But on the Spurzel American Locking ones, look at the detail in there. That is very hard to fake cheaply. Um, so you've got real tuners there. The logo here. See that font? See how crisp it is in the circle around it? On the fakes, you'll have, um, the circle will be really wavy. The font will have, uh, it just won't be crisp. They'll be, it can be fuzzy looking a lot of times. Um, and this is actually a unique one that I've never seen anybody comment on. And it's these two little stickers right here on this back plate. The real ESPs all have that. And they're in that exact position and they're next to each other just like that. Um, now, if I bought this guitar new, I would have taken those off. I think they're ugly. Um, but uh, most people do not do that. So you see it, you can do a Google image search for these guitars and look at the pictures of the back. All the real ones have it and none of the fake ones do. I've not seen one fake Eclipse that has those sp uh, stickers there. So that's surprisingly enough, better, uh, a better indicator than say pickups where you know these EMG pickup covers are easily faked. Um, there's no substitute for wood grain though. That that just tells a story. And then the hardware and the detail in it all just comes together and seals the deal. So that's how you tell you're, you're dealing with a real ESP Eclipse. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram. Definitely come over to Facebook and give us a like. And we'll see you soon in the next video. Bye.